Hello and welcome to this presentation on Year 8 Choices. I'm Tom Martin, I'm Deputy Head at Bourne Academy. Um, it's very unusual circumstances. Uh, I, this would be a evening event in which you'd be able to come and talk to me directly and ask any questions. I'll mention later, there's still a way in which you can ask me questions. Um, I appreciate I'm a little bit dark on this, um, which may be a benefit to you. It's just so that you can uh, see the screen really clearly. Hopefully, I'll be able to talk you through the choices, explain exactly what it is and how you're able to make your choices and how you are able to ask any questions that you may have. Okay, so want to make something really clear at the start of this presentation. That the choices that you're making now are not the choices of qualification subjects. They're not the subjects that you're going to be doing at GCSE and BTEX. That options programme happens at the end of year 9 for studying commencing at the start of year 10. So it isn't that. What it is, it's about giving students an opportunity to spend a bit more time than they've had in year 7 and 8 studying those subjects that have got a real aptitude for. Okay, I'll give you an example. I'm not musical. I really do wish I was. My wife's very musical, my daughter's very musical. Unfortunately, I've not got a musical bone in my body. It would have been a little bit of a waste of time for me to continue um, studying music for three years um, when I could have spent some of that time studying something that I did have a real aptitude for and I was really good at. So that's what this choices programme is about. Okay, so here's a curriculum for year nine. I've just taught you through it. It's a little bit different to year seven and eight um, with this choices program. Um, all students do four periods a week of maths, four periods a week of science, um, four periods a week English, two PE. We thought it's really important that we maintain the two periods of PE as physical exercise is so important. Um, one period of RE and then two periods each of geography, history and MFL. And if you've got older um, children or siblings that are in year nine, that maybe they've been asked to pick two out of three, that is a slight change for next year. So they do two periods of each of those subjects. And then the choices sit over here. So two periods of two choices. Okay, and that makes up the 25 period week. PSHE continues through the 25 minutes a week um, slots with the form tutor. That's a really important part, but it sits outside of this. Okay, so the options that you're choosing, those choices are art, drama, music, textiles, food, computing and sport. And sport stands out a little bit there because, as I've said, we've got two periods of PE and that's the one out of these which is slightly different to objects that they've studied in year seven and eight. It's more about the theoretical side of sport. I won't attempt to give you a fantastic description of it now because my background is maths and I probably wouldn't do that. But it's really useful to say that you should have received a booklet containing a full description of each subject and that's where you should look at um, not just for sport but for each subject to get a really good idea of what it's going to be like in year nine. Okay, We're also sending that out through Show My Homework so there's no way that students should miss seeing it. Hopefully everyone will get it, read it through just to get a good idea of what subject is saying that the year nine curriculum is going to be like in those subjects. Okay. So I want to explain that how you can tell us what the choices are when you decide. Okay. We give all students, um, we ask all students to make three choices. Okay. Why three when you're doing two? Well, we can't guarantee that everybody will get their first and second choice. Although, honestly, we do try our best to make sure that, that happens as much as we possibly can. Okay, but we can't 100% guarantee it, someone might get their third choice. So it's, obviously it's really important that you tell us what your priority is. Tell us what your first choice subject is, what your second choice is, and that reserve, what your third choice subject is. Okay, so here's how you can tell us what choices you're making. Okay, the first way is that we are sending out a form using the parent mail app. 
Okay, so I know a lot of you use Parent Mail to pay for school trips, etc. Uh, down at the, on the side, you'll see uh, in the menu it says forms, and we'll be sending one out uh, for the year eight choices. Here's the example that I have sent to me just to make sure it worked. Um, gives you the little description there uh, saying you'll be allocated two choices, and you can see I've selected food technology for choice one computer study for choice two, and it would scroll up where I'd select my third choice. Okay, few pointers. Please do not select the same subject twice. The form would allow you to do that, um, but please, please don't, because um, obviously when we'd have to get in touch and, and ask what, that, what the choices were. Okay, and make sure that you tick an option in each of choice one, choice two and choice three, okay? So that's how you can submit it um, using the Parent Mail app, okay? We're also quite happy for you to submit your choices via email. Uh, if you do that, the email address to use is year9options at bornacademy.org. I'll put this up on the final slide of the presentation as well in a minute. Um, in the subject heading, just put Choices for your child's name, year eight. So I put in choices for Joseph Martin, year eight. And all you need to put is choice one, choice two, choice three. So I put choice one, food tech, choice two, drama, choice three, music. That's all we need, okay? And then just submit that, okay? Again, please don't select the same subject twice. Make sure you select three subjects and hopefully that'll be straightforward. Okay, now we're going to be informing students of their subjects in term six. So sometime around June, maybe right at the start of July. Okay, in the meantime, we would ask that you keep working hard in all subjects. Okay, so you know, I would thank everybody for the efforts they're making at home. You know, we're seeing a lot of the work that's done when it's the online work, and we're seeing the students log on and look at the work, so, you know, we're incredibly impressed with that. But please carry on in all subjects, even if you think, I'm not gonna be doing that one next year, so why bother? It is part of your year eight curriculum. It is really important we ask you to do that work. We cannot guarantee what subjects you're doing next year, so to carry on with everything, just as we would ask you to do if you were here with us in school, okay? So, year nine options at bornacademy.org. If you want to submit your choices via email, absolutely fine, yeah? If you do have any questions about this whole process, um, that's the email address to use for that as well, and we'll endeavor um, to get back to you as quickly as we can. Um, appreciate please, it might take a day or two given the current unusual circumstances, but we will get back to you um, and answer any questions that you may have. But that's also the email address to use to submit choices if you prefer to do it that way rather than the parent mail app. Okay, and a reminder that the options are art, drama, music, textiles, food, computing, and sport. Okay, that's it from me. I hope it's um, been a useful presentation. I hope it's straightforward. Thank you very much.